Hello guys, this is Azona and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a very popular build in patch 2.4 and yes you know it, it's the Fist of Heaven Paladin aka Foldin. Fist of Heaven can now damage all undead and demon type monsters and has only 0.4 second cooldown. The incredibly huge AoE makes him an absolute demon undead killer. I'll show you in this video how to farm the arguably best area in the entire game, that is Chaos Sanctuary, with the gear you may be using in the first couple days of ladder. And with better gear, you can do players 5 Chaos, players 8 Bail Runs, or even solo Ubers without respect, which in my opinion is really really amazing. Okay, now let's jump into the details. Let's see a really quick chaos run first with low budget gear. Dual spirit and as you can see it's not even a paladin shield, it's a goddamn monarch base. Wasabi set helm. Uh, uh, I mean Sazabi set helm. Chance guards, gold wrap, notch chest piece, magic boots from shop, random FCR rings and 3 combat skills emulate. Level 29 Fist of Heaven. Enough, enough to max block all rest points here. You may be expecting to see me spamming 4 synergized Fist of Heaven with level 25 Conviction Aura, just like others did. But it's a little bit different this time. As you can see I'm not using any Aura right now. And I put 20 points into Fist of Heaven, 20 points into Holy Boat, and nothing else. I have so many unused skill points here. And seems like he's already shredding chaos. And why? Because almost all damage comes from the spreading holy bolts. If I invest further points into holy shock and conviction aura, it's going to boost my main target damage. And this, of course, is going to help me kill those non demon or non undead type monsters, such as bats, spiders, vipers, and Izuo. And yes, he is a fallen angel, not a demon. But why would I ever want to farm those areas full of animal type monsters? That is like someone playing the blizzard sword and he wants to farm Eldritch which is cold emu for a thousand times. Or someone playing the hammer den and he wants to be the best mega layer farmer. I mean he can try it, of course, and it's challenging. But he can just avoid farming those areas bad for his build, right? Now you may be thinking without fully synergized Fist of Heaven and Conviction Aura, I can't kill the bosses. Well, that's not a problem at all. Holy Bolt is your best friend ever. So how did I use my left points? I maxed Prayer, which is the synergy of Holy Bolt, not for damage, but for healing. This might sound weird. Healing in Diablo 2? Are you kidding me? Well actually, Holy Bolt healing is super super useful. With budget gear, my Holy Bolt heal is close to 600. Just 3 or 4 Holy Bolts will fully heal my merc. Literally makes my merc unkillable. For example, Firestorm from Diablo, Bell Wave 3 and 5 are all deadly for mercs. However, with the Holy Bow support, I can heal and kill at the same time, without spamming tons of Rejuve potions or constantly going back to town to revive my merc. Let's see how easy this build kills Diablo. Make sure that you, your Merc, and Diablo is on a straight line. Hold your button, close your eyes, have some rest for a couple seconds, and job done. No potion feeding, no teleporting, no walking around. Now we know the power of Holy Bolt. How about the other left skill points? Well, there are a couple options here. You can put some points into Holy Shield for more defense and a longer duration. You can put some points into resist lightning for max lightning res, in case you want to make your way to bell waves easier. 
Personally, I put some points into Redemption Aura as my main aura. Fist of Heaven drains mana like really crazy. With Redemption Aura, you have like 80 or 90 life and mana after each kill, which helps a lot. And you don't need the Inside Merc anymore. That's why you see me using a Frenzy Merc. Then I put 10 hard points into Resist Fire, because it gives not only 5% passive max fire res, but also 10% max fire res when active. This is mainly to help my Merc to survive the Inferno from the Infector and Bell Wave 4 and Hydra from Wave 3. One point into Salvation in case your enemies have Conviction Aura. One point into Fanaticism. This is really useful against bosses because your Merc will proc more Decrepify. Then I dump all rest points into Defiance Aura to boost defense rating given from Holy Shield. Sometimes I switch to Defiance Aura to make my Merc tankier when needed. Like when he's tanking Bale Wave 5. With some advanced gear like Hoto, Shaco, Arachnid Mesh, Torch, I can clear players 3 or even players 5 Chaos Sanctuary pretty easily in about 4 minutes. Full clear, no enigma. I started to farm Chaos from like level 70 until now I'm level 91. I guess you could have this kind of gear in the second or third week after ladder reset. Depending on how much time you play and of course how lucky you are. Speaking of torch, I'm pretty sure a paladin torch is going to be really expensive because a lot of people are going to play folding. And you know what? You can do Ubers by yourself with just three additional pieces of gear. G phase for crushing blow, go riders for crushing blow and open wounds, drag for life tap. You can kill all 6 bosses including ubers and mini ubers with 1 point smite and 1 point fanaticism. You may need some rejuve potions before the life tap procs. Once it's on, you are pretty safe. Of course key farming is another story. You could level a sork just to farm keys or get some key sets via trading. Overall, this is a really really cool and strong build. Incredible AoE ability. Super tanky, max res, max block, over 10k defense and also a super tanky frenzy merc. And his decrepify makes the fight even safer. Free aura slot compared to hammered in. Means you can always switch between different auras such as salvation, resist fire or fanaticism. While not dropping damage output which makes him even cooler. Able to do ubers without respect, and you don't really rely on those super expensive gear to be strong. I believe that a Vodian as your first or second character will make your ladder journey really really smooth. And that's it for today's video. Please let me know in the comment if you agree or disagree, or any content you want to see in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.